Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. Today we will be solving the problem A from the weekly contest 403. So first we will understand the problem clearly. Then we will see the dif different approaches to solve this problem. So if you unable to solve this problem in the contest, don't worry. So I think you have just started doing programming. So it will take some time to uh, solve the problems by your own. So for now you can watch the video solutions and you can understand the different approaches. Now let's understand the problem you are you have an array of floating point numbers average which is initially empty right initially it's empty you are given an array nums of n integers where n is even where n is even you repeat the following procedure n by two times he's saying that he has given some number and n is even n is even that means n percentile to equals to zero n is even now you need to perform n by two operations remove the first element remove the smallest element minimum element and the largest element from numbers and add it to the averages and we need to return the elements minimum element in this average now if you see this example here initial my average is empty and here my maximum element is 15 and minimum element is my 1 so 15 plus 1 by 2 which is 8 right then here my maximum is 13 and the minimum is 3 so again 8 now in this we have maximum 8 and the minimum 4 4 8 plus 4 by 2 which is 6 right here we have added now 7 comma 4 so if you add this we got 5.5 so in this 5.5 is my minimum so i will return my minimum as my answer so first approach you will think is brute force one brute force how you can do brute force now you will take every element you will you will use some visited array visited array you will calculate the maximum and you will make it one and you will calculate the minimum and you can make that index as one and you will you will make so you will add it and you will calculate the average so you will do for the first operation you will iterate and then you will iterate you will iterate and how many times you need to iterate you need to iterate order of n square because every time you need to iterate all elements and you need to find the maximum and the minimum and if my visited equals to 1, visited equals to 1, that means you have already visited, so you can't take it. So in this way, if you solve, it will take order of n square. But if you are seeing this type of problems, and when the order doesn't matter, when the order of element doesn't matter, first thing you need to do is sorting. Whatever may be the scenario, first you need to do is sorting. After sorting, you can observe what exactly is happening. So if you sort it, it will be 1, 3, 4, 4 and 7 8 13 and we got 15 right after sorting these are my values if you observe in this elements my first element this is my minimum and this is my maximum right directly and next 3 and 13 this is my maximum and this is my minimum then this is my maximum and this is my minimum and this is my maximum and this is my minimum so what you can do it's simple right you will take last two elements you will calculate by two then you will calculate this two and you will calculate this two then this two in this way you will you will get the average in this way you will get the average so it's simple so what we are doing we are sorting it sorting will take n into login n into login if you are using mere sort if you are using mere sort it will take n into login so internally c plus plus uses quick sort or mere sort no i is equals to 0 j equals to n minus 1 so i'm double so we need to return type should be double double answer equals to 1000 i'm keeping maximum as my answer now y less than j k is equals to v of i plus v of j divided by 2 into 1 dot 0 that means we are converting into double if you are using directly divided by 2 what it with these are all my integers so it will be an integer then my double is assigned to integer so you need to convert it into double because if you see 3 plus 4 by 2 which is 7 point which is 3 plus 4 by 2 is 3.5 right if it is an integer it will die, I automatically convert to nearest possible integer that is 3 it will convert it into 3 but if you are using into 1.0 into 1.0 so it will be 3.5 only 3.5 it will stay as it is and we are calculating the answer and every time we are incrementing i and incrementing the j and finally we are returning the answer I think you have understood it. So if you learned something new from this video, please do like and if you are new to the channel, please consider to subscribe. I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye.